Jeez, look, what's the matter with these people? I had some prick yesterday coming up here on my side of the road nearly pushed me into the hedge beeping his fucking horn! Devil are we? Good. Well, I thought I'd ride the bike in, since it's about the only dry day we're going to have for the next 300 days. Uh, it would appear that summer has passed us by. Which is nice. Uh, first up, uh, I want to send my regards to uh, Ian and Nan. I hope they're doing all right. I want to send my regards to Derek. I hope he's doing all right. He's struggling a little bit with uh, his back and leg pain. Um, I want to send my regards to Birchwood Biker. I hope you're recovering all right after your heart attack. Uh, I want to send my regards to uh, Blake's Pipes. I hope you're doing all right. Um, I think that's it as far as the uh, the sick list goes, I think. Um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Rich Ma. Uh, now he's changed the name of his channel. I want to say a couple of times in the last twelve months, maybe. I can't. I'm not 100% certain on that. But uh, hello, Rich. Hope oh, oh, you're all right, bud. He's a Floridian, uh, and he's got a. A Triumph T100, I think. I think. He did have a Moto Gutsy. So he does some nice rides through Florida. I will link his channel somewhere. He's been doing it for a little while. Uh, and I want to give a shout out to you. You lovely lot who, you know, watch on a regular basis and leave such charming comments. Especially after the last two videos, which is always a divisive and prickly subject. Uh, I had a small bleed of subscribers as a result, but Hey ho, the YouTube's a fickle old game. 
Um, I don't believe in fence sitting, so... As Popeye said, I am what I am. I need to catch up with uh, Western Supermoto Vlogs' uh, latest, latest part of his European tour that he did. The first parts were brilliant. You know, good on him and his wife. Absolutely amazing. But as always, you're up against the clock, aren't you? In life, with juggling all sorts of other things. I mean, plus the football's been on. I don't watch football, as a rule, generally. Um, if I do, it'll be bigger tournaments like this, and then it'll only be generally the England matches, if I can be bothered. Um, now, they did get through to the final. So, which is fine as far as I'm concerned, because the French didn't. <laughs> So yeah, what with all of that and everything else and usual day-to-day, -day, just don't get the time to watch everything that you want to watch. That's the problem. Oh my God, what a day. What a fucking day. If it could have gone wrong, it went wrong. Stress factor 200. Look, what's the matter with these people? I had some prick yesterday coming up here on my side of the road nearly pushed me into the hedge beeping his fucking horn. <laughs> you see, that cone's got the same head as I got. <laughs> So this is summer, uh, it started this morning and it ends later this evening, that's it, all done. It's been a short biking season this year. You see the crop in the field there, <laughs> it's just weird because you know, you drive past it every day, so you see them sowing it. And then a few weeks later, you see these little shoots. And then for a while, it's just these tiny little green shoots. And then out of nowhere, it's like three feet high. Yeah, I know how nature works. So yes, after a stressful day at the office, it's uh, it's nice to Get on the bike and unwind a little bit. Well, I'm supposed to be heading up to Diddley Squat Farm in a couple of weeks' time with our Derek from Solo Moto UK. But 
I don't know if he's going to make it. So I might be just whipping up there by myself and visiting the farm shop. Now, you see, Jeremy Clarkson's a bit of a Marmite figure, isn't he? He's one of those you either like him or you loathe him completely and utterly. Um, <laughs> I've, always, I've always quite liked him. And you've got to say, I don't know if you've, you've watched uh, Clarkson's Farm at all on Amazon. But you've got to hand it to him. I think he's done more to raise awareness of farming and the difficulties of farming in the UK than perhaps the government and the uh, British Farmers Union or whoever they are. Or the National Farmers Union, I don't know. I th you know, he's done more to raise awareness than they have perhaps in the last 40 years. So yeah, I dare say some of it is a bit like the, you know, a bit like Top Gear was or the Grand Tour. Maybe some of it is done for effect. But certainly not everything, and it certainly shows you the amount of red tape, the amount of nonsense that they've got to go through just to try and earn a living, of which it's not guaranteed, because it relies totally on the weather. It relies on the good fortune of not coming down with uh, bovine TB or bird flu or any other myriad of misery that can befall a farmer and without them we're absolutely screwed so you know Derek and I had planned to do another Cotswold run so I thought it made sense to call in it diddly squat and at least buy something from the shop just as a token bit of support for them not you know does he need it I don't know he's ind independently wealthy isn't he and is it I suppose, is it fair to put money in his pocket rather than farmers' shops who don't have a world-famous, popular television series to fall back on and a lifelong television career? But he employs people and remember he employs people right well I shall sign off and say toodaloo enjoy the uh, enjoy the summer <laughs> and I'll see the anon Do you know what, if I'd given it some thought, I could have gone to Western Bike Night tonight. But I hadn't given it any thought, so I won't be. That's a sexy old beast, isn't it?